It's the award-winning radio program. Relax and enjoy. And now your host. Hi all, welcome to the segment of A Voice in the Desert titled Manna from Heaven. In this segment, we will share with you some short nuggets of the Word of God. This segment is done with the purpose that you might have a time with the Word of God for those brief moments when you need to hear from God or you just need some rest time in the Lord. Different from our regular podcast that goes more in detail into the Word of God, segments from Manna are brief and intended to expand your knowledge of God, increasing your intimacy with His Word. We pray that it is edifying to your walk with Jesus Christ. And now we leave you with our message of the day. Hi folks, welcome to A Voice in the Desert. Great to have you with us once again as always. Um, Today before we start, we're going to start with a short prayer so that way God can illuminate our minds and our hearts and our Holy Spirit reveal to us whatever is preached or spoken today about the Word of God. Father God, here we are with your people, Father, all around the world, listening to your Holy Word, Father, reading from your Bible, your sword, in order that we may be able to follow your ways and in your footsteps in just the way you want us to do, Father God. So please give us the wisdom and the knowledge to be able to understand and decipher the message that you are going to give to us today, Father God. Let anything flow from me come from the Holy Spirit and not from myself, my dear Lord God. Thank you for I make myself available to you, Father, to impart this message to our brothers all over the world. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, today's message is titled, Have We Underestimated God? Tough tough title, right? Have We Underestimated God? Think about that. Ponder on that while we talk on this brief message. We have underestimated God. We have reduced His abilities in our eyes. This is why we are not seeing the manifestations we have to see. We need to rediscover the God that we believed in and His capabilities. Jesus said clearly that if if we can believe, all things are possible. So if we believe, all things are possible. And we can find in Mark 9.23, it says, Could it be that we are not seeing greater manifestations because we are not believing less and less as the years go by? How can that be? Because Mark on 9.23, Jesus clearly said that if we can believe, all things are possible. God is the creator of the heavens and the earth. Nothing is bigger than Him. Nothing is stronger than Him. Nothing outmatches Him. Of Himself, He said, Jeremiah 32, 27, Behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? So if you read God's word and you have an intimate relationship with Jesus Christ and his word, you would actually know already that he's tasking you. Is there anything that is hard for me? But that question is done in form of him answering it himself. In other words, there is nothing hard for God to handle. Jeremiah 32, 27. There is nothing too hard for him. The prayer God cannot answer has not yet been prayed. Listen to this, my brother and sisters. There has not been a prayer God cannot answer that has not yet been prayed. The reason is simple. God says there is nothing, absolutely nothing too hard for him. What is difficult for men 
is so easy for God. Sometimes we need to ask yourself if you are really dealing with the same God in the Bible. Is he the same God? Then he is bigger than your challenges and your problems. The size of your need does not bother God the least. He is bigger than all the needs of the earth combined. Yours is a minute in his eyes. But with that out of the way, let us look at the key of focus in prayer. But that, let us take a quick detour. I have come to realize that many people pray for the sake of praying. They also make requests for making the request the sake. There is no real desire for the things they ask for. Now here we are getting to the meat of the message. And this I need you to understand. Without a concrete desire, people just can't say prayers and move on. If you ask them what they prayed about yesterday, they can't tell you. And this is a shame. Can't even keep a simple prayer journal of what you prayed to your Holy Father, of what you thought was very important for you, that you need His help. They just pray for the sakes of praying or to satisfy a certain lust or a certain problem. They did not really desire the thing they asked for in prayer. That is not right. Even the Bible makes us understand that before we open our mouths to pray, we must have desire. Desire must be in place before prayer. It is the prerequisite for prayer. Without it, there is no need to ask for anything. The Bible clearly says on Mark 11, 24, Therefore I say unto you, Whatever things soever ye desire when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Mark eleven twenty three. 23, it's clear from this scripture that Desire must precede our prayer. It means you won't pray for a car because your neighbor bought a car or a wife because your friend just got married. There must be a personal desire for that thing before prayer, not because someone else has it. An easy way to know if you desire something is that you remember when you prayed about it. Most people don't remember what they pray about. So know for your prayer to be effective. The word of God says first that there must be a desire. That desire must be a purpose. That purpose must be aligned with God. And that purpose cannot feed our flesh. Because God will never answer a prayer that feeds our flesh. And if you keep a prayer journal, you can go back and start looking and seeing when God answered these prayers, how he answered them, when you prayed for them, how you prayed for them, what time of day did you pray for them? When did you get the answer back? How long did it take? How did you submit in prayer? How deep was that desire for that prayer to be answered? Those are questions that only you can answer to yourself. And only our Holy Father can respond to the proper desire of our prayers. Once again, my name is Caesar, and I am a voice in the desert. God bless you all. Thank you for listening to today's episode you can also follow us on Twitter okay and our handle on Twitter is A The Desert that's where you're going to find the voice in the desert at the handle A The Desert
Okay, so follow us there so you can uh, get our tweets throughout the day and uh, some encouraging messages. You can also listen to our podcast uh, in iHeartRadio. All you have to do is search for A Voice in the Desert uh, and like us there and put us down as your favorite. And you can listen to us on your daily commute as you're going back and forth in your car uh, and listen to us in, as, uh, at your leisure or at your home. Okay? If you think that was enough, we got another surprise. You can find us at iTunes, okay? On Podcast iTunes. Just search for A Voice in the Desert, and you're going to find us right there. And all you have to do is subscribe to it. Uh, anytime a new podcast is out, uh, it will automatically be downloaded onto your device, okay? You can also follow us at Stitcher Radio. All you have to do is uh, search for A Voice in the Desert. You're going to find us, follow us, and you'll be able to listen to us at your leisure. Okay, and uh, but always uh, your first recourse should be a www.avoiceinthedesert.net. There you will have all our archive latest message, latest messages, and also uh, downloaded uh, materials that uh, we provide for you for your learning experience. Okay, once again, thank you for listening to us. God bless you, and uh, can't wait to give you our next message on next week. Okay. Take care. Bye. Tell your friends and family about us. Please follow us on Facebook and subscribe via iTunes.